Now to the latest on that deadly boat disaster off the coast of San Diego over the weekend. A 40-foot ship that investigators say they believe was part of a human smuggling operation capsized on Sunday, killing several hundred pe several people. Excuse me. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez reports from Los Angeles. Chaos along the Southern California coast. Oh my gosh. The Coast Guard says at least three people were killed after this ship with more than 30 people on board crashed into a reef Sunday off San Diego, capsizing as rocks ripped the boat apart. Top tore off. Um, people just started coming out of nowhere. And next thing you know, there were dozens of people in the water, individuals um, fighting for their lives. Navy rescue swimmer Kale Foy just happened to be on the shore, immediately rushing into the chilly five to six foot surf to save lives. I gave everything to my wife and said, I'll see you here in a little bit and just jumped in the water. Nearly a hundred first responders also racing to the scene. There are people in the water drowning, uh, getting sucked out the rip current there. Uh, there's people on shore, so a lot of things going on at once. Our goal was just to rescue everyone we can from the water. Some of the survivors taken to a hospital, at least one in critical condition. Investigators haven't released information on who they are, but Customs and Border Protection says this was a smuggling operation. The ship's captain now in custody as authorities investigate. This was a smuggling vessel. The smugglers really just don't care about the people they're exploiting. Uh, all they care about is uh, lining their own pockets for profit. And border officials say over the past year, they have seen an increase in the number of migrants trying to cross into the U.S. by water. Just last week, authorities say they stopped a boat with 21 Mexican nationals on board. The captain of that boat was arrested as well. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Los Angeles.